You probably know that Facebook knows a lot about you, but what you might not know is the social network also tracks the sites you visit when you're online, even if you're off Facebook. I'm gonna show you how to stop that. Facebook is a great way to stay connected with friends and family, but it also collects a lot of data on you. The bands you like, the restaurants you check into, and it uses that information to sell you ads. It can even target those ads using really specific interest categories based on your activity online. For example, Facebook's algorithms have decided that I'm into vintage clothing, Kylie Minogue, and sunburn. So yeah, congratulations Facebook, you've worked out that I'm Australian. If the idea of all of this tracking terrifies you and you want to get off Facebook altogether, well, my mate Patrick has done a video on how to delete your Facebook account permanently. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can watch it after you've watched this video. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of great how to do it all tips. All right, now I use Facebook pretty regularly, but I am a total narc when it comes to Facebook privacy. I go in and check my settings really often and I've turned off things like facial recognition and public posts so I can keep it locked down. So imagine my surprise then when I was reading through CNET one day and I saw this story. Facebook can track your web activity. Facebook can track my web activity? Oh, hell no. It's a feature called the Off Facebook Activity Tool. According to Facebook, it's a way for businesses to share information about when and how you use their sites, but it can also include information like purchasing activity. The companies feed this information back to Facebook, which can then use that info to serve you ads for things like store discounts. It all sounds pretty innocuous, but it's also worth remembering that this feature isn't just used to give you discounts. For example, in 2019, researchers in the UK found that some menstrual tracking apps were sharing information about users' periods and contraception use with Facebook. So here's how you turn that feature off and stop those private eyes from watching you. On your phone, open the Facebook app. In the toolbar at the top, tap on the hamburger menu. Scroll down to settings and privacy, then tap on settings. From here, scroll down to the section labeled your Facebook information and choose the option off Facebook activity. Once you're here, you can review all that activity or delete it altogether. To see which sites have been tracking you, tap view and manage activity. You'll need to re-enter your password here, but once you have, you can scroll down and see the sites listed and stop those sites tracking you one by one. If you want to delete it all, tap the clear history button at the top of this site list. Now, as you can see, I didn't have a lot of sites listed on my activity because when I first discovered this feature, a couple of days before filming this video, I deleted everything. What did it look like when I first spotted the off Facebook feature? Well, it went something like this. Turns out I use the internet a lot and Facebook has been sucking up a lot of information about me. Now, if you're like me and if you wanna burn everything to the ground and salt the earth so nothing like this can ever happen again, then what you need to do is go back to the off Facebook activity page in your settings and tap more options. Then select manage future activity from the pop-up menu. You'll come to an info screen, tap manage future activity again, and then tap to turn off the future off Facebook activity setting. So that's for mobile. On the desktop site, the process is pretty similar. On your computer, go to the drop down arrow in the top right of the screen, go to settings and privacy, then click privacy shortcuts. Once you're on the privacy page, scroll down to view or clear your off Facebook activity under the your Facebook information section. Here you can manage off Facebook activity by blocking individual sites, you can clear your history and manage future activity to stop tracking in the future. And while you're back on the privacy page, there are a couple of settings that you can tweak. You can go into your ad preferences and stop advertisers from showing you targeted ads off Facebook, or you can clear the categories used to reach you section. Facebook is making these settings easier to navigate, but it can still be really hard to find them if you don't know where to look. 
As for whether Facebook is listening to you through your phone, well, let me be the first to debunk that myth. As you've probably learned from this video, Facebook doesn't need to bug your microphone. They already have so much information about you already. If you want more handy tips on how to set up devices or get the most out of your tech, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, leave me a comment. Are there any other cool Facebook features you'd like to know about? I've spent way too much time in those privacy settings, so I can definitely hook you up. And finally, my colleague Patrick is here with a video on how to delete your Facebook account altogether. If this video maybe has you a bit scared. Thanks, guys.